Hi team, how are you? Uh, good morning. Hey, um, okay, we are up to number three, week three, right? So this is all about uplifting your mindset because without mindset, you can't change anything. So the reason you might be in a pickle is because of your mindset and the way we think because obviously the way we think dictates what we do, how we feel, how we act, right? So if we can get on top of some of our mindset issues that are going on, then we have um, a really good chance of changing changing things, right? And making it um, better. So I've been, identified five, uh, it's actually six areas that I think need to be worked on if you're gonna look at, and I know that sounds terrible, but these are daily things that are easy, right? Things that you're already doing, but you might be doing it negatively, not positively. So we're gonna try, try and tweak a little bit um, to make a difference. So, so six things for a happy mindset, low stress, staying calm, no matter what's going on, you can, I know that's really hard to do, uh, grateful, gratefulness, massive difference in gratefulness if um if you can master those those little tasks that we do every day on, on gratefulness um will change your psyche will change your heart your soul everything yeah mindfulness again big change in your way of thinking um will make a massive difference to your everyday just fulfillment and joy like in the small moments right we're all we're talking about small stuff that you can do every day positive thinking which is this is beyond positive thinking. This is even more more um, about identifying the negatives and, and what's coming into your self talk, yeah. And joy. So finding things that you actually love to do and and make a difference to um, your happiness and your joy, right? So typically we're a bit we're lacking that when we're a bit down and out, yeah. So gratefulness. So the truth to me, it's very difficult, I believe, to be grateful. And negative right so no matter what's going on in your world there is always something you can find smallest thing to be grateful for and that is enough to lift you yeah it's enough to lift your height your positive thinking or your positive vibe yeah so when we're if you can write down three to five things every day and that could be in the morning when you get up it could be before you go to bed that you were grateful for are grateful for Right, and it might be something as simple as your child's smile. He gave you a beautiful smile today, or, you know, um, I remember thinking, in the middle of the night, you know, they have, you'd have no sleep, and then they four in the morning they're sick, and they'd say, "I love you, mummy," and you go, "Oh, you know," sort of breaks, you know, it just breaks that, that thing, yeah, that thing in your heart that that you need to be um, more grateful, and you can always find something small to keep you on a positive vibe. Less negative thoughts is what we're after. So we lift the positive, the negative can't survive, right? We have to, we have to lift that. And um, so if you write those things down before bed or in the morning, and like I said, it could be, it could be the birds, it could be the sunshine, it could be the walk that you had and you saw something, just a, a beautiful view. It could be anything, right? Um, something nice someone said. Just, just you know, gratefulness is under underrated for sure. This can change. This is a game changer. Mindfulness, so mindfulness means being in the moment. So no one, you know, some people get confused about what that means. It means being present. So if you're talking to someone or listening to someone, you're listening to them. If you're playing with your child, you're playing with them. If you are going for a walk, you are focused on what you're doing and you're enjoying the moment. You're not worrying about things that, um, you know, that are, that are there, right? So you're actually just focusing on the now, right? We're gonna talk about that too. So. There's a, a great writer who was, um, you know, a, an average dude that just opted out on life. He was, I think, had a lot of me mental health issues until he realized the power of now, which is a book he wrote, right? So he's a famous author and speaker now about the power of now. And that's all about being mindful and being in the moment um, because that gives you more calm. It gives you appreciation. It gives you joy. Um, it gives you gratitude and it gives you peace for that moment, right? No matter what's going on in your world. So he basically said, you are not your thoughts. So we're talking about um, the negative thoughts coming into your head. So Eckhart Tolle talks about the power of now. Um, and he realized through his mental health struggles that he was not his thoughts, but took him a long time. So he actually believed that that was him saying all these horrible things to him, that he was one, right? That he was one thing. Or that he was two, sorry, there was two things, two people. So that sounds a bit strange, but the point is, not everything that pops into your head is true. So if you can learn how to question what's popping into your head 
and the bullshit stories that you're telling yourself and the negative self-talk, if you can question that, you are miles ahead, right? You are on your way to lifting yourself out of this. So, um, yeah, so it's revolutionary to, to those who listen to their thoughts, who are stuck in their head and cannot see that, that is, they are not their thoughts, right? They have a choice. They have a control over that. They can control what they believe. You're not happy to believe everything that comes into your mind. Now, and you can ignore things. You can actually say, I'm not listening to you right now. I'm focused on, on me. I'm getting better. Leave me, you know, I'm not listening, right? There's another great author called Elizabeth Gilbert who wrote Eat, Pray, Love. And she has an amazing brain and great speaker, great author. And one of her favorite quotes or my favorite is choose your thoughts like you choose your clues. Again, it's so that you can actually be aware of what's coming in. What is coming into your mind? What, what are you telling yourself? What is your self-talk? Um, is it damaging? Is it sneaky? Is it, it's wrecking your confidence? Because every time you step up to, to be brave and to be courageous and do something different or change something, you've got this um, sneaky, sneaky inner voice telling you, no, you, you're not good enough. You're not going to be able to do it. You're going to fail. You, you, whatever it's telling you, right? So it's all about questioning what is going into your mind and, and not judging it, not reacting to it. Because unfortunately with reacting to it, what we, how we think is going to be how we feel. So if you're thinking crappy thoughts, you're going to feel crappy. If you're thinking happy, you might feel happy, right? So it actually has a direct correlation because it also affects how you then act. So if you're thinking negative and uh, unhappy thoughts, it's going to affect how you're feeling, it's going to affect how you're acting. So it's really, really important to be able to do this. And most people probably don't even know about it, right? They're not even there yet. So question the truth, ignore that horrible thought. It's not helping. Stop it. Just stop it right there, right? See it for what it is and stop it. But this is the awareness of not judging the thoughts, not believing everything that comes into your head and not reacting to it. So it's really important to do that. Yeah. So if you want to talk more about personally with me about that, um, yeah, I love it. Please do, because it's such an important thing to be able to do. These tools will help you forever. These are not tools just for six weeks. These are tools forever. Right. And if you can learn how to do these things, you're going to be a high, on a higher vibe of awareness, higher vibe of energy, um, and you're going to be able to pull yourself out when things are crappy, yeah? All right, and so tips for trying for keeping a high vibe and a positive self-talk. Um, so being still, breathing and relaxing, that's it. If you can stay calm and be still, you're, you, you can actually solve a problem, right? If you're angry, upset, sad, confused, you can't get clear. There's no clarity. You'll never solve anything, right, with that kind of um, feeling. You have to stop. Just relax, yeah? Just relax, breathe, and you'll be surprised at what your brain can work, it out, work out by itself. Using exercise and sunshine. Cannot explain the benefit of that more than the feeling of your, your endorphins, improving your energy, your both your physical and your mental. It's so important, right? Uh, listening for your self-talk. This is where I talked about self negative self-talk coming in um, to to you, right? So be aware that it's come that you can see it. You can see this the sneaky self-talk, right? Do not believe it. Stop it now. Okay, joy. So this is about finding things that are jo that make you um, joyful that you actually love, and it might be something as simple as gardening or walking the dog or playing on the floor with your with your child, whatever. Going to the park. It has to be something that um, you need to do to make you feel better, right? Activities that, that you love to do. And you probably have forgotten. If you've been in a bit of a pickle, you've forgotten, right? So we need more of that. And that will also lift your vibe, yeah? You'll be happy. You'll feel happier. All right. So using positive affirmations, that's my last tip. So imagine if we could feed in only good stuff. Only good stuff to our brain. So telling them we're amazing, we're strong, we're capable, we're confident. Um, and I'm not saying lie to yourself, but I'm saying what if we could feed more of that in, of what we actually want to portray in the type of person we want to be? What if we could give us more of that and less of the negative, right? So affirmations, I ha used to have them on my sticky, I had them sticky notes everywhere, right? I needed to lift my mind. I needed to go to the next level 
I needed to to lift out of that um, confusion and that self confidence problem that that most of us have if we're human. Um, so affirmations are really good because you're constantly reinforcing what you want to be, how you want to be. So you don't want to, you wouldn't put up there, I'm tired, I'm feeling sad, i am got no energy, I'm stressed, I'm out of, you know, I'm so angry. You wouldn't have sticky notes of that everywhere because you don't want to reinforce that, yeah? You want to reinforce only the positive and try and limit the negative. Yeah, and you will see a massive difference in that as well, right? That is, a, that alone is enough to help you start re, reframing your thoughts and, and helping yourself. Yeah, we're all about taking taking responsibility and helping ourselves. So that is now I've got a task there as well. I want you to rate between one and ten how you talk to yourself. Would you talk to your friends? like or family like you talk to yourself right i want you to see where you are are you kind and forgiving um i want to know if you're actually yeah nice to yourself or not nice to yourself and would you say it to your grandmother <laughs> right if, you, if you're not going to say it to her don't say it to you if you're not going to say it to your friends don't say it to you it's hurtful and it wrecks your confidence yeah so that's my that's our week three mindset so we've got a bit to work on this week and they're great things that you can fit in every day anytime um so easy and those tools are for life yeah i hope um if you've got any questions we can talk about that and work together on that okay all right i'll talk soon bye